I grew up an army brat and I've grown up all over the place and um, I used to skateboard when I was a kid so I was always breaking bones and things like that. I used to work in the newspaper industry and people don't read newspapers as much anymore so in the 90s it was kind of getting phased out and so I took a buyout in 2005 and I moved here. So when I got to Vegas, I started dealing craps. At Las Vegas, a lot of jobs don't have medical. They don't get, you know, it's a part-time workforce for the most part. A lot of companies hiring part-time more than full-time, trying to save money, which is understandable. I had feeling chest pains like once a day for like a week beforehand, once like once every day, and then it would just go away. So I just kind of dismissed it and about 3.30 in the morning on my 49th birthday, I wake up and it wasn't going away. I felt like somebody sitting on my chest. They couldn't find anything for like a day or two and then they finally did an angiogram and I had three stents put in, so. I've got like neuropathy, I have constant AFib, high cholesterol, high blood pressure. I'm a mess. I wasn't sure how I was gonna pay for the medicine. They gave me some medicines, but they're medicines I needed and uh, yeah, so I went without it for a while and it wasn't good because I could feel stuff not going right. I told a friend of mine for my predicament and she, she happened to mention volunteers in medicine and I'm very grateful. One of my medicines that I get from here um, costs $600 a month if I were to have to pay for it. Volunteers in Medicine pays for it and it's free, so I'm so grateful for that because there's no way I could just afford and that's just one. I look forward to coming here because the doctors are so good and I know it is safe, they're saving my life because you know I didn't have these health concerns when I was younger. Now with the heart attack and stents and things like that. Without volunteers in medicine and all the doctors and all the staff and pharmacists and stuff, I would, I would literally probably be dead because I need the medicine that I get. And I can't express how much I'm so grateful for everybody here. And I really appreciate it and thank you so much.